All right, guys, they're playing some sets are playing this patch. We're playing versus Irelia or Nico. And what we have here is Lido Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Sense. Then we also have Demolish, and then we're also running Bone Plating here. Look sharp, as it looks like. Oh, something is glitching out. Okay, there you go. Either way, this matchup is fantastic. You know, especially um, in the in this game, specifically with Lido Tempo. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, he's gonna go for the fight straight away. Alright. <laughs> Every time I play sets, this is very much what happens. It's always like that. You know, Lethal Tempo, if you run this thing, you combine that with Bone Plating into like an auto-based champion like Aurelia, right? If you go for the level of 1, you very much always win. All the time. I still have Ignite. I'm going to win again. Nice. Hit the stun. And there you go. <laughs> oh, this is way too funny, man. I, I, this is so, this is something that happens all the time. Even in the last game, I played set into a Garen. The same thing, the exact same thing happened. You win level 1, they TP back, you kill them again, level 2, right? What, like, the thing that makes this so broken is that Leo Tempo can easily be procced, you know? Otters and passive was set in combo with it, it's just really broken, right? Any champion that's, like, auto base that has to go inside melee range, it's very easy for set to play it because you can just, like, hit your E, walk into them, or actually just auto Q and then E afterwards so you can ensure you actually hit it. It's so unbelievably strong. Now, what we're going to do this game is I'm going to be combining the Lethal Tempo and then combine it with Blade. So we're going to have like an on hit sort of build. And then afterwards, we can go like either Stride Breaker or Trinity Force. We'll see what we do. Nice one. Got the wave like pushing my direction. There's a Cossix top, uh, top lane though. Definitely something to keep in mind. I might not be able to rotate. Okay, they will die. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, very rough for my team. I'll keep on freezing. Freezing this is super, super, super important because Aurelia is now rotating, killing off my entire team. But if I at least freeze this wave and I let the wave take down the, the cannon, at least she will lose some of the XP. Okay. I'm still like way stronger than her because she still hasn't been able to buy items even if she had a kill before. As long as she can't buy an item, then there's nothing that she can do. Let's stay up here. The recurve bow longstar will completely wreck this guy. He's already lost like so much farm already so that one kill that he just got on my teammate really does not make any sort of difference it doesn't it's it's not going to impact the lane at all so it seems like she's going to back off what we're going to do knowing that she backed off naturally you would feel like you want to push right that's not actually what we're going to do here i'm going to be slow pushing the wave because I might not be too, uh, I might not be fast enough to be able to clean it up, right? Because we don't have the best wave clear at the start of the match. So we're taking it slowly. And right as she gets back, I'm going to try like all ending her. I'll showcase you what I'm going to do. Hey, Raisin, thank you for the sub gift, by the way. Thank you for gifting, man. I really appreciate it. Now you're going to see what the impact is of slow pushing this part. Because I'm level 6, she's level 4. If I uh, if I manage to get like a stacked wave under tower, I can then reset back to base. I can buy my next item, which is going to be pickaxe for sure. And then once I get back, I'll have item advantage again. There you go. We shove this one. Actually. Okay. Not bad. I think we can probably even dive this guy right now. Hmm. There you go. And we got her. Fantastic. 
See? So the wave is completely stacked up, right? The wave is as massive as it can possibly get, right? So if you actually get your opponent very low right before it hits the tower, you can actually dive the opponent much easier since the wave is much bigger, right? And on top of that, if you actually manage to get the kill in one way or another, she'll actually end up like missing like two and a half, maybe three waves. And you also get plates. So like this is like one of the best ways to like make off a lead in the laning phase. If you're stacking waves and then killing someone, it's the best thing you can do. Now we must back here. As much as I would really love staying in that moment, I can't quite do that because like the amount of gold I have is so massive. If I get back to lane with all of that gold spend, there's not a chance for our belly anymore to win this. Absolutely not. Now you'll see, like, this wave is about to arrive. The wave is now bouncing uh, back in my direction because this wave is about to hit sooner. So what we can do is freeze the wave once again and then go all in any second we uh, or any opportunity we can get. Check this out. We just all in. I don't care. I have my W, which will save me if things go badly. There you go. See? So, if we take a lot of damage from Aurelia, the fun part is that my W reflects all the damage. So, if she hits, like, the full combo on me, I'll just press W and, like, half of her HP will disappear. So, even if she does a lot of damage, it does not really matter. Because you'll just use W afterwards. Just gotta make sure you actually hit it. Nice. Now we pick up this wave up here. I think I'm probably going to get ganked by mid lane as mid lane is missing right now. Or not anymore. I'm preventing this guy from getting back to the lane. I'm going to keep one of these last hits. I'm going to keep it standing. Because I'm going to be using this one to get the stun. So, look. She's about to lose a cannon wave. I'm literally standing here. No XP for Aurelia. Nice, good damage. Get tower. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Nice, 2.4k gold. I'm just gonna take this wave two and then we just back off afterwards. Nice. Let's go with Blade. And after Blade, we are directly going to build into a Stride Breaker. Now, Stride Breaker is actually a very important, um, important item. More important than ever, actually. You have a lot of choices with set. You can go Gorjinker, you can go Stride Breaker. There's a lot of options out there available to you. But the one that I always recommend the most will always be Stride Breaker because it's giving you a direct slow, which just makes getting catches and all that stuff. It just makes it like 10 times easier. And the item you build afterwards will help you out with, you know, whatever, sustain or whatever you want, more tankiness or whatever. Blade Stripe Breaker combo is the one of the best items on set right now. For sure. <laughs> this guy's going to die again. Thank you very much. It's basically unplayable for this guy. I even if he ran, like I could just walk up to him and just kill him anyway. Doesn't matter, my Q gives me movement speed, so if this guy runs, I'll just kill him after. There you go, proc this thing. Fantastic. There's actually some guy right here. Nice. Hmm. Bolt. Ah, oh, too bad. I was hoping that monster would press R fast, but that was 
too much to ask for. I should have just kept running immediately this direction rather than going inside the brush. But yeah, whatever. It's fine. Let's go for this. I sell my Dorn's Blade for this. The thing is that I don't need a Dorn's Blade. If I if the power spike is very big, like Stridebreaker, I'll just sell it off. It's, it's fine with me. I probably would not have done it though if I actually had, uh, you know, no items. It would be different then. I feed away a lot of gold, which is a bit of an unfortunate uh, thing, but it is what it is. There was a uh, very risky move of me take uh, trying to like pressure these guys up here. Several people came down there to try and fight me, so it makes sense. There you go. Uh, next thing we'll buy is Titanic Hydra. So we can get AoE clear, HP, damage, everything. I might also get inside another one versus two. It's very likely that will happen. Oh, everything seems to be taken. This guy has a blade now. He's got a lot more damage. Might actually end up getting into another like one versus two, so I'm just going to back off. There's a lot of people missing right now. There's only two people showing on the map. I'm not going to walk up there. Three people showing. The mid laner is now pathing top lane. So I might get into another one versus three. Actually, he's back in mid. I don't mind facing off Cossix and Aurelia together. Hmm. I don't think he's gonna try. Thank you. Walk away. I just need this guy to eventually, like... Get comfortably and then just walk into me. Thank you. Okay. Let's get some jungle camps as well. Taking jungle camps is one of the most important things in this game. Because not only are you taking the XP, the gold away from them. But like the enemy jungle will actually fall behind by doing so. So if you can manage to get these, right? Absolutely always take the opportunity. It's one of the best things. And we got another one. Now let's see if we can take one more. Dragon spawns in like 14. I think I can actually get another one. Ah, uh, I don't know if you will up here. Oh, he's typing to his team, I guess. Nice flash. Nice try to outplay. But it failed. It's because I'm set. And all I do is right click. <laughs> there you go. Let's grab this one. And let's go back here. Okay, so we're going to go for Titanic Hydra. Nice. Uh, just check the team comp. I need steel caps. Now, I I'm prioritizing steel caps above everything else. Because Zaya is obviously auto base. This guy's an AD carry. This Aurelius auto base is also all about auto attacks. They have a Cossix going lethality. So, going steel caps is a pretty smart idea. And the only type of AP they have is this Nico and Lux. And I'm not really expecting to have a bad time against these two people. Like, I think personally that's okay. Nice right, so with the push. I'm gonna go back topside. Need to prioritize the herald soon. But first, we're gonna see if we can kill this Aurelia here. 
Oh, we're about to get another one. Only auto attacks is literally all I did. And back to the jungle. I'm like worth a lot of gold now, by the way. Thank you for that one. No idea what's going on up here, but I'm not interested. Hmm, okay. I could try and flank the, uh, the, the Nico. Oh, nice. Okay, we might find the Nico up here. Nice. Thank you. And back to top lane. Gonna prioritize that wave. Actually, I rarely tried moving, uh, <laughs> to that fight. Okay. And back to the jungle. Oh, that guy's already dead. I think he will try and steal it. Not today. Seems like this Aureli is finally starting to play more safe. I could try walking around and then killing the Aureli again. This guy's playing so safe right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got this one. The next item that we are going to go for will definitely be a hole breaker because hole breaker gives you percentage movement speed and it also uh, grants you more HP, everything, damage, split pushing, everything you need. Okay. That was close. And you go back top. I want to stay around mid and, and try and do more, but I can't afford to lose the massive wave in top side. This is very important stuff. There should be a stun coming out. Uh, I think I'll probably catch up. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> the W is perfect. Hmm. Is there another jungle camp that I can secure? Okay, 1.7k. We're still a long road away from the hole breaker as we need like 900 more, but we're getting there very slowly. A three people show in mid. I'm not gonna fight him. Let's extend my lead. Uh, Lulu's moving up there. Oh. Wait. Ah! They got vision, apparently. Goodbye, buddy. Well, I actually got caught. Three people. You know, I was actually going to like press R this direction and then like stun both targets and then hopefully get a kill before Nico gets there and then turn around everything. Then I had the idea like, what if I just run to the right side? But obviously, like, at that point, I can't hit my stun anymore. I, I need like two targets to hit my stun. Ooh. 
Ooh, nice catch. Never mind. <laughs> I love how Kalista is the one to trap down the Zaya and like actually Zaya just kills. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, no hole breaker for me. I need like 150. This could be a good team fight, but we're missing um, we're missing Malzar. Ooh, that could have hit. Oh, that saved him. Okay, good catch. Uh, this is definitely Baron. This is definitely a Baron call right here. But my jungler is walking the opposite direction. Hello? This is definitely a Baron call. I don't know. Seems like the jungler doesn't care that much. I wonder if we can do it on ourselves. We can't do it. The jungler is prioritizing the wave instead. Hmm. This is going to be a tough one. The entire enemy team is now alive and the jungler still isn't here. Okay, finally. He moved all the way from Bali to, to here. I'm glad that we're still getting it. Fantastic. Sometimes you just gotta force the Baron so so you can let your jungle know. Sometimes. Um, the final item that I want to build this game, I'm thinking towards going Black Lever, which might not be the best option, considering they don't have a lot of tanks in their team comp. So I think I might go Dead Stance, but I would have wanted to go Black Lever if they had more tanks. But unfortunately they don't. So uh, it's going to be a Dead Stance for sure. This uh, Kalista is constantly trying to split push and it's working to some extent. It's not the best, but it's doing the job. And having an AD carry split push is terrible, actually. Hmm. Nice. Got him too. And we push everything. Pretty sure it's like most likely warded everywhere. There's actually a red buff that I can secure. Nice. My jungler is uh, farming the entire game. This game could be a lot easier. Can't really prioritize. Power, need my teammates, don't have them. Let's pick up oh that one's actually taken. Okay. I'm uh, I'm basically full built. I uh, I need just a little bit more for death stance. Just letting my teammates know they gotta start playing because I'm full built. This this game can't be dragged out longer. Oh, oh I still got him. Well, whatever, I guess. This game is challenging, man. I'm like 21 kills in, and these fights are incredibly easy. I'm not gonna lie. If we, if if we have like the full team completely grouped up, we're trying to like force house everything. They stand zero chance because I can just completely demolish them, right? But like that's not really the case. Like it's it's always like a constant one versus two, or one versus three, and then like the remaining of my teammates are like farming other lanes, or whatever.
They, they make it a lot more challenging than what it should be. These, these fights should be absolutely winnable. It's, it's unfortunate because now I died twice in a row and I was actually worth like 1,000 like per death, right? So <laughs> that's a lot of gold. It's not very good. Okay, let's go. We're maxed out, we gotta take that dragon. We gotta Callista backing, which is terrible. Okay, let's secure this thing. Nice. Oh, he ran off the other direction. We just got a group five men made. I'll just make like one single play and that's very much it. Let's see if we can make a play. Uh, I need the full team ready for this moment. Oh, really? I was about to ult. Oh, too bad. Too bad, no. I was about to ult into like five people at the same time. That would have been super clean. I can still do it, I just don't have my flash anymore. Just a fake one. Okay. Nice. I actually want to get a Penta, but I guess that this guy will never give this. <laughs> it's very unlikely. Yeah, he ran off the other direction. I have like maybe 10 20 seconds to obtain it. Nope. No Penta today. Uh, I can. There you go. I can try something out. Let's take all of these. Let's go. They probably know what we're about to do here. Oh, it seems like they don't. Okay, let's uh, let's start Baron. Nice. Well, it's time to swap around my boots. Or maybe we don't have to. I think. Um, I think we can just end the game. You swing on the boss, <laughs> yeah. Nice. My teammates are actually winning. Without me. No. Yep. The game is over. <laughs> I don't mind chasing this. Okay. Uh, GG. I'm running for the base. Yep. Hey, this is uh, Setop. Thanks so much for watching. This is a video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.